there's a game console that plays pictures as game cartridges, was designed with tight technical limitations, and oh, it doesn't exist. But you can play it right now. If that sounds nuts, stay tuned. Welcome to Brian Plays Games Bad. I'm Brian, and this is Pico 8. The little game console that could. Wait, did, did I just call that a game console? You bet I did. While to the untrained eye this appears to be another emulator, this is actually a fully featured game console and game development workstation. In the early days of game consoles, resources were limited. I mean, really, really limited. The Atari 2600, for example, had a maximum resolution of 160 by 192 with 128 colors and 128 bytes of RAM. I mean, bytes, bytes. As developers spent more time with these consoles, they learned how to work within these limitations and create some amazing games. Considering the resources they had available to them, titles like Kung Fu Master, California Games, and Double Dragon were extremely impressive as they pushed the limits of what was possible with the console. Enter Pico 8. It's a virtual game console, not an emulator. See, an emulator is based on real-world hardware. The Pico 8 never actually existed in the physical world at all. Instead, it's a project meant to bring the modern game design to a very limited system to see what magic can be made under these extreme conditions. Speaking of limitations, the Pico 8 boasts a maximum resolution of 128 by 128 in a square one-to-one -one aspect ratio, 16 colors, and 64 kilobytes of RAM. For reference, my first computer had 256 kilobytes of RAM back in the mid-80s. If that's not enough, the biggest a game can be is 32 kilobytes. The games are distributed through cartridges in the p8.png image format. What? Yup, pictures. The images can be viewed in any image viewer and are the box art for the game. Hidden within these pixels is the binary code that's the game itself, stored through a super cool steganographic process. Now, I won't dive too deep into the details of steganography, but if you're interested, I've left a link to a video in the description. If you're into super secret codes and cryptography, you'll want to be sure and check it out. Games are coded in the Lua language, and included in every Pico 8 install are development tools to create your own games. No need to use external tools at all, it's all done right there in the console. If you've ever played the game Celeste, you may have already played this system. You see, the first version of Celeste was originally coded on the Pico 8, and in the retail release of the game, there's a room you can find with a computer in it that features a fully playable version of it. Finding this game within a game is what sent me down the rabbit hole to discover what Pico 8 was to begin with. And what I found made me smile. You see, there's platformers, racing games, shooters, demakes of popular game series, and much, much more. The sky really is the limit here. Due to the limitations of the system, Games that are more visually stunning tend to be shorter, and games that are less impressive looking often have much more depth. The easiest way to get started is to use the built-in game browser, Splore. Simply type in Splore to the command line and hit enter. From here, you can look through new games, featured games, works in progress, jams, random games, search for a specific game, or play a cart that's stored on your own computer. When you select and run a game, it will download and be available locally. The Pico 8 controller is a four direction D-pad with two action buttons. Pico 8 comes with support for many controllers by default, but you might wanna mess with the button mapping yourself for maximum comfort. Wanna try for yourself? Head over to itch.io where they have a ton of Pico 8 games available to play right in your browser. If you like what you see, consider buying Pico 8 and running it on your PC, Mac, or Linux computers. You'll be supporting the project and enjoying tons of games. You can install it on just about any type of computer, even a Raspberry Pi, or many of the various retro handhelds out there that you can get. All the games are free, 
but there's a $15 charge for the console itself. You can purchase Pico 8 at the creator's website, lexalawful.com. All links will be in the description. I hope you've enjoyed our little foray into the world of Pico 8 and the concept of virtual consoles. If you want to learn more about them or see more about other virtual consoles, let me know in the comments. That's all I have for today. If you like the content, hit the like button below. If you want to see more, consider subscribing or becoming a Patreon supporter so you don't miss a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.